What's going on everyone? It's that time again. It's a new day. Appreciate everyone for getting me a thousand subs, but I have to admit everyone roasted me on the comments. I'm a total noob at Blender, so I did some light research. I was finally able to take a break from making some content. I was able to take a shower, play some top golf, work out. Now I'm back, refreshed, and ready to get a better testing methodology out there for you. So uh, the reason for this video is a lot of the comments were saying I didn't use the proper cycles to utilize the CUDA engine or even optics. So um, I'm going to go into some screen recording to show the methodology here on the RTX G15, which has a 5900 HS Amazon uh, AMD Ryzen and then has the uh, G RTX 3070. And then, of course, here someone pointed out yesterday uh, from all the comments, there's a bunch of comments that uh, there is a metal supported version um, or M1 native version. So I got that set up and I'm gonna go into the screen recording of methodology on that as well. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. Like, subscribe, share to your mom, text your mom this. If I don't see screenshots of you texting your mom this, then I'm going to just lose my mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys are good. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so for the methodology here, we are going to, and this is going to be for the rest of the video, we're going to double check the renders in the preference settings, um, even though I'm clicking the wrong thing. Um, in the preference, you have options in the system to actually change what device you're using. So CUDA is going to be selected and just the RTX 3070. Um, there is also the optics and OpenCL that have this same selection done. Um, but in terms of actually verifying if I rendered with optics or not, I'm not exactly sure. I just know that I did in the render scene over here in render properties, it said cycles and I did the GPU compute. For this render test, I have two versions of Blender open. One was Blender and one was the, uh, the metal supported version and we could confirm this by seeing that one was intel and one is apple so what people wanted me to test was the apple version which i'm pretty sure i just closed the right one yep and so now all these tests will be checking with the apple version and i'll be cycling through energy when i do the battery test off battery test i'll show you some of this i'm um, hopefully i can get it all on screen and then um, let's open up the same file, the sky demo. So again, not really going to change anything. Um, I don't think the render gets impacted, uh, but then again, someone might shun me in the comments. So I got to do this. So again, the methodology, everything you see on screen is going to be quick time recorded using the default microphone, I'm not using an external microphone or anything. Um, and then if I need to, I'll noise reduce in resolve. So there's no settings here for anything in the blender preferences on the M1 Apple supported version. And then when I went here to the scene, there is a GPU compute. So I will select that for the testing. So again, uh, I'm just going to be doing off screen recording so to not impact, um, you know, the render performance, but then I'll try to do both on screen and off screen when I do the viewpoint um, and the FPS playback. Um, and then I don't really see anything from the comments of anything else people wanted me to test. So with that said, I think that's all the methodology you guys need to see of what was set. Um, so it's going to be GPU compute against um, GPU compute um, using cycles and optics. So let's get started on the test. So like I mentioned, off-screen test, uh, CUDA, M1, M1 version. Uh, I'm just gonna hit render on both. I'm gonna try to do it at the same time. I got myself my magic mouse. And um, let's just see if I could click these things at the same time. And then I'm just gonna try to uh, talk about what I'm seeing from the performance. So these will be off-screen renders, and I guess I could do an on-screen render afterwards. Um, so right now, the GPU compute on the RTX is actually way faster, so I might have clickbaited you guys from the last video. I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> so 
uh, if someone purchased a Mac from the last version and now has seen this render, I apologize. Um, but um, I don't know what to say to Apple fanboys, but this thing is done in 30 seconds. And the estimated time on the M1 is 44 seconds. So one thing that someone was saying was that until 3.1 comes out, GPU on M1 is not working. So this might actually just be a CPU compute. It actually seems similar to yesterday's test, um, where I believe I, on this one I got around like a minute 30. It seems to be the same exact time. So if, even with Rosetta and M and the F, Apple Optimize, it's still the same. So memory used is like 975. Um, cache file zero swap used. Um, yeah, nothing to show there. And then kind of here you could see in the back grid, it got to like 40% dedicated usage. I only have 16 gigabytes RAM here. So um, these are both done. Um, so yeah, I guess I was using the RTX. So I apologize to anyone who made a decision on that last video, um, but alas, mistakes were made. So let's just go ahead and start the screen recording. Okay, so I don't know if um, any of the settings change there, but um, it looks to be kind of the same graphics performance, 24 FPS, um, user perspective seems the same in this different viewpoint, also 25 FPS on this one. Don't know what this thing is. And then the render. Render viewpoint taking a lot of load. But this one's getting, oh, 20, 30, 30 FPS. And this is, of course, with screen recording on. Um, so let's take a look at how the M1 handles these viewpoint tests. On the M1 for the viewpoint tests, it looks to be about similar to what we saw yesterday. Um, even though this is Apple native now, this one's getting 17 frames per second. Let me go back and do this one. Um, 24 frames per second. And uh, the rendering seems to have rendered faster, at least loading the textures on screen um, and getting 25 on the play, but it's like heavily meshed. So um, that's the viewpoint settings on this one. And then uh, if anyone is, uh, I have both still the off-screen camera recording. If it's getting picked up on the camera, my RTX is kind of getting really loud here. Um, if I actually go to Armory Crate, I can see what the fan speeds are. Um, so the GPU temperature is at 62, 82 Celsius, and then the fan speeds are at 5,500. This is on standard Windows and 5,000, so I guess it got warmed up from that blender uh, test. Yeah, let's, let's see how the optics does because that's also another test that someone uh, told me to test out. Um, so I'm gonna do that off screen. Okay, so now I got these both set up. The render engine I've selected to say E, E, V, E, E on both of them. Um, there's no setting now I can choose to do uh, like GPU. So I'm not exactly sure how uh, this is going to do that. And then if anyone has any um, other requests, I heard someone do optics, but I couldn't find the settings. Um, so just let me know uh, where to do that and I'll just leave it in the comments or as a pinned comment. So let's get this render test for using the, e, e, the I don't even know how to pronounce it, but let's do that and we'll see how fast it is. Uh, okay, so I guess that was really fast, like negligible. Um, doesn't look like it was a proper render though. This image doesn't look that great. Um, so I don't know who told me to do this <laughs> render in this test, but I think uh, this one is a wash. 
All right, everyone. So here I'm turning the cycles back on to GPU compute and then confirming for the commenters that are going to harass me later that this is going to be the RTX 3070. Um, and if anyone knows how to use optics, let me know. Okay, so for this next test, we're going to be doing the Fox demo. Um, so again, I'm going to go back to change the settings to be on the cycles for GPU compute. And I'm just going to double check that the right CUDA settings are set, selecting the 3070 GPU, which it seems to be set there. And then here on the M1 Mac, I have the M1 Max graphics uh, history setup so we can monitor that. I'm going to go back into cycles. So the first test... Um, when Sorry, I missed that. Whoa, Could you say it again? My Siri went off. Um, for, the, for the M1, when I select GPU compute, I have this on the screen recording, you can see that it is actually grayed out. So I think that is confirming that the GPU isn't being used. And I think that support comes out in the 3.1. So I believe it should just default back to the CPU, but I'm going to leave that setting set because it has to be using something. But again, this is to confirm the Blender Apple version. Um, when I go to CPU and I go on Blender, it shows that. So let's monitor uh, some of the things and let's run these render tests. And I'm gonna stop the on-screen recording. So again, this will all be off-screen um, with the camera. Okay, so just some interesting notes to point out so far. Um, seems to be that the M1 is at least starting off the render um, faster, but it looks like the CUDA is catching up. RTX is on 23% at 65 degrees Celsius, while the M1 is at 20 gigabytes used, zero swap files used so far. And so now, I guess because the SSD isn't as probably as fast as the M1, um, all the assets and shaders were loaded and you can see here, it's actually blowing past the M1 again. Um, but then again, this isn't, I don't know, the Apple fan, the Apple fan was the fence. They will say that one is M1, <laughs> one is CPU, not using the GPU, and one is GPU. So I guess until 3.1 comes out, you guys keep me honest in the comments. I believe this is the same test as yesterday, even though it's just CPU native, um, it's not using, you know, probably not a fair comparison, but this one is done at one minute seven, while the estimated time on this Fox one is two minutes 30. Um, and so far elapsed as one forty. So, um, I'm just going to keep an eye on what's happening here. All the CPUs seem to be used while the built-in GPU max history graph isn't that, um, doesn't seem to be that much uh, having use at like half. So definitely another RTX win here, at least until 3.1 comes out. Um, so there's still hope for the Apple fans, but I would say probably want to wait um, before purchasing and uh, sorry again if you <laughs> purchased based on my videos yesterday, uh, but this is the more uh, test to see what each device is capable of. Okay, so the M1 Max is finally finished out. It's at four minutes, so I feel like something's wrong with the test at this moment. Um, I feel like the M1 Apple version is actually performing worse than it was yesterday. Um, I should probably have these numbers off the top of my head, but I could leave, I'll leave it in post. I'll put a comment or text on DaVinci on Resolve. Um, let me try rendering again, but this time changing the device to say CPU. And when I do CPU, it's like lit up 
there's an option for open shading language, but I'm just gonna go ahead and run that render again and we'll see how it performs um, because it's, I think it's running worse than yesterday. Or it, I mean, it definitely is. Let's take a look at what it says here. So right off the bat in rendering, it says that the estimated remaining time is three minutes. So uh, definitely not that fast, especially compared to the CUDA. So until better support comes out, um, it doesn't seem to be that much different estimate than it was when I did the C CP versus GPU setting. So um, I'll check in post after I check my videos um, from, uh, from the last time I was running on the Intel or Rosetta version, um, but this definitely seems way slow. So I mean, especially compared to the RTX. So uh, there you have it for that. All right, guys, so uh, don't think I forgot about my, uh, my unplugged fan. So there's a lot of people who said to unplug in the comments. So uh, it's going to be the same setup, CPU versus GPU. Um, and we're just going to see what the battery impact is. So I will say that on the GPU, I keep it charged at 80. It's a window setting. Um, so... I could just keep doing render cycles and we just do an estimate based on what the battery life would be. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and dis try to disconnect both at the same time and then run the render at the same time. And this will be all off screen um, because we gotta get these Apple fanboys a win. And this, is, <laughs> this might be the test. Now, joking aside, 3.1, you guys might get better performance here. But for now, even though it's native, there is no GPU support on Mac. So let's unplug. It uh, flared up the screen a bit. Let me make sure, um, let me close OBS actually, because sometimes that messes up the GPU switching. Let me just make sure that Blender shows that it's the right GPU. It doesn't say any GPU right now. Sometimes it will show GPU zero. And then the activity monitor here, I'm gonna now browse to the energy. I'll keep an eye. I don't think there's a energy on uh, from the task point. Let's do these renders and um, let's see what happens. Let me try to do these at the same time. Three, two, one. Let's see off camera how it performs, uh, off battery. So again, the initial load time and rendering starts faster here, um, but you can see still the RTX is rendering faster than the, the M1 Max. And from a battery usage perspective, still 100%. Um, so still going strong there. So in terms of how long this battery lasts, what I've gotten out of this one or what reviews say is like four hours up to like four to six hours on integrated and maybe like two hours using the battery. Um, so definitely if I was gaming, I would only be able to play for like an hour, an hour 20. So doing this render, it is complete says I have an hour, six minutes left. And on the M1 Mac, there still is no calculation. I'm gonna go ahead and just render it again, just to give you guys an idea of um, what it could be like if I was just continuously rendering uh, so we get an estimate of the battery consumption on the device that uh, one's RTX and one's not, or one's using GPU and one's using CPU. So this is gonna be actually the second cycle render um, on Blender while the first one's still going on. So <laughs> the M1 Mac technically currently says right now in its render and in, in activity monitor that the time remaining is two minutes 34. So I don't have quick time on, I'm not recording. Um, I don't know if I can, if I move my camera, it's kind of, gonna mess the thing up um, but
But it, I'm not joking, guys. It literally says two hours, 34 minutes. Wow. I started at 80%, so I can't. Sorry guys, don't blame me on my videos. <laughs> but for better battery health, it does say to keep it at 80%. So you guys can make extrapolations. When I'm at full, it's usually two. I'm at 55 minutes right now at 77%, while this one's still at 100%. Um, so let's just keep rendering images until we can get good data points on how the battery lasts. Um, but again, one is the CPU and one is the GPU. Um, and until 3.1 comes out, I can't really do anything about that. Um, so uh, there is some slight fan noise from the Windows laptop versus the Mac, which is silent. Um, saying that the, at least on Task Manager, it's 63 degrees Celsius here. This is the third run. Um, and I am at one hour. Let's see if it updates while kind of using the GPU. It should be using the GPU. I know there's some weird settings that sometimes happen with Optimus. Yep, confirmed. GPU 0 3D 0 is my NVIDIA one. So I'm on the third render. Still says an hour left. These are taking about a minute each time to render. I'm now at the fourth one. The Mac is still going. Okay, the Mac just finished its render and it says two hours 30 left. Well, this one's going on its fourth. Um, started an hour. Actually, the battery time is increasing, so I think it's kind of calculating based on render times. Let's just do. <laughs> I got nothing for you guys. These are not scientific methods, <laughs> but um, maybe just some quote unquote real world ideas or examples of what's happening. Um, this is cycle four of my render. It's at better battery. So maybe that's a thing that someone in the comments is gonna blame me for to retest. Um, Okay, here, it, it finally went down to 50. I started at 80% when I unplugged. This one started at 100%, still is at 100%, and says two hours and 37 um, minutes left. I am yet again at another render cycle. This is going on two. This is going on five, I believe. Hopefully I could count two indexes at the same time. Where are my computer science? majors here in the chat, leave a comment. Um, but we are going. So still 100% on the left. 80%, 50%, oh no, 74% on the right, so it's 50 minutes remaining. So the RTX laptop is running laps around the M1, but again, it does not have GPU compute. So I think I'm gonna just talk about some conclusions here while I'm doing this thing and just keep you guys updated on the times and stuff of that nature. Uh, we're on cycle six now. So overall, still not a fair test if I was deciding on this laptop and I don't know, you want to wait. Um, I would wait if you are doing these kinds of performances, you still don't have that support. Even though that I showed you guys on Activity Monitor native Apple support, that's just for CPU. There is no GPU compute for Mac OS. Um, so I, I don't know, from my perspective, some of the reasons at the end of the day, people are like fan noise or battery life. The fans are kicked up on the this laptop on the right, the Windows laptop, I could hear it. Um, Armory Crate tells you some settings. It says it's at 3,500, 3,600 RPM fan noise. Um, but just this RTX machine right now is just running circles. I'm on cycle six um, and it is just going strong. About to be cycle seven now. Well, this is still cycle two. So kind of like 
concluding thoughts or just thoughts from my perspective. Um, you know, this is day two with the M1 Max. <laughs> my dog is walking right by the camera. So get yourself a dog. That's the conclusion of this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and sub. Get yourself a dog instead of a Mac, M1 Max. Uh, but no, on a serious note, um, it's all just preference and people will have different reasons why they just, I mean, like, I don't want to go into psychology, but there is the justification factor that when, you, when people spend money, they like justifying that their decision was right. Um, I don't want people to have like some cost fallacy. Look, this thing is saying that there's two hours left on the second render. I've gone now, ah, dang, maybe I lost count. I believe I'm on seven. Still, it's at 70%, so it's 50 minutes left. Um, nothing else open. And I'm now gonna go cycle eight. So, I mean, this one just, oh, it's not even, okay, this one just finished in four minutes while this one, so it's like a four to one ratio here, right? You can see on this test. Um, the fans are kicking up. I'm gonna run the next render. You know, second time, second day using this, um, and I've had I've used Max before. I would just consider getting this M1 Max if, um, like, it is fast. Don't get me wrong, but some of these tests I'm doing, I'm not a Blender person. I just even in some of my video game tests. I kind of just prefer OBS to stream and record with. Windows just has voice meter, um, different ways you can integrate it. It captures windows better on OBS. Like, you know, if you guys are doing scene select, um, this isn't a content creator video, but I'm just giving conclusions because I'm kind of uh, wrapping up this test. Hopefully I've satisfied the render crowd. Um, but look, if you guys have different perspectives or different ideas, Leave some comments below. There's a lot of chat happening on my videos. I'm like, it's cool you guys are doing that. I'm excited to see what everyone's different perspective. But at the end of the day, this one was $1,800. This one was $3,600. Um, so you're paying double the price and at what cost? So if you like airdropping, which, which it is good <laughs> to do that. Um, I wish DSLR cameras supported airdrop or something of that nature. Um, or you like um, iMessaging and you, you know, you're not using WhatsApp and you need to text people, that is something from time to time. Like, why do I have to bust out my phone to text people? <laughs> but in terms of just, I'm going, I'm, you can see me rationalizing <laughs> to the Apple fan, fanboy crowd. I've now finished so many cycles here. I've lost count. I think I'm at 10. At the end of the day, um, it's based on what your guys' needs are. And if you just like having a Mac and you like you don't play like all these top AAA games and you're fine with that, um, I don't know. Some people just like having the sleekest stuff. But in terms of Blender right now, 2021, October 27, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, GPU is not supported on Mac OS. So even if this wasn't the M1 Max, it was just Mac OS, and you had like an NVIDIA card, like the old NVIDIA cards, or I suppose even the Mac Pros don't support AMD. From this particular test, you're not gonna be doing well if you're using Blender. Now, other people will tell me to use Unreal Engine and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some more research to find that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video now. I think my point is proven. I gave you guys a lot of conclusions. You saw me try to rationalize for the Apple fanboys why you would get this device. But at the end of the day, I mean, numbers are numbers. I'm on render 10. They said, hey, take the GPU out. And I'll, this, the, they literally said this device would get crushed. I literally have 66% left. So that was 14% battery drain. And now when I'm not rendering stuff, it kind of goes into like low power savings mode. Um, so now it says hour 30. Um, if I was rendering and using that cycle, it would probably say like 40 minutes left. And the M1 Max says two hours and 14 left. And it is at 98%.
So only 2%. That is technically a good battery life. Um, but if it was rendering nonstop, it would, it, it believes it would do two hours. So that's my take. Hope you guys enjoyed the second video. Apologize for not being more pro at what I'm doing, but, um, yeah, part time YouTuber. You gotta love it. Uh, subs. If you guys want to see more content likes or comments below, if you just want to argue your point or put some chat down there. And uh, yeah, I guess now we'll go back more to some gaming tests and stuff of that nature. I got Minecraft downloaded stuff. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Take care.